When is it okay to disobey? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, kanina pag usapan natin, if there is a situation na it's okay to disobey. Now, the idea here is that we all probably grew up in households na sinabihan tayo that you should never disobey. But as we grow older, there are certain situations na medyo hindi na malinaw uh, itong rule na ito. And part ito ng series natin, ng Sunday Motivation videos, doon sa good, bad things. In other videos, we talked about doubt, anger, and envy. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, ililink ko na lang din dito sa i button if you're watching on YouTube. Maybe someday I can turn this into a book, pero for now, pag-usapan muna natin siya. Okay? Now again, the question is, when is it okay to disobey? And just so I can check, what do you think about it? I actually threw the questions at Trying Hard Podcast community. If you're not familiar with that, I have a podcast of my own. It's my baby. It's called the Trying Hard with Like a Podcast. And we have a Facebook group for the people who listen to that podcast. Okay? If you want to listen in, then I'll link it in the description box above. And uh, just looking at your answers, there are a lot of insights that are pulled, which are aligned then to what I want to say in this video. Na ito. And I will read some of them. Sa inyo. Now, when it comes to asking ourselves if it's right to disobey, I think there are three important questions na kailangan nating tanungin. The first question is, who are you disobeying? Whose rules do you object to? Kaninong standards ang ayaw mo sundin? And in turn, kaninong standards ang sinusundan mo? Kasi sa maraming pagkakataon, in our decision to obey someone, may mga ibang tao, entity, or even institutions na dilidisobey din natin. Uh, ganun lang talaga yon. For example, sa inyong household, di ba? If meron kang ate, tapos sabi ng ate mo sa'yo as an authority figure na, oh, huwag mo sasabihin kay mami na, ano ha, tumakas ako, di ba? Kahit na meron ng COVID-19 restrictions, lalabas ako at mag out ako with my friends. Babalik naman ako bago sila makauwi galing sa opisina eh, kaya wag mo na lang sabihin. Now again, in this situation, your ate, as the elder and as someone na nagbabantay sa'yo, is an authority figure. But in order for you to obey your parents na mas mataas ang authority kaysa sa iyong ate, you may need to disobey your ate. So again, may mga situations na kapag sumusunod tayo sa higher authority, ay magdi-disobey tayo sa isang entity na mas mababa ang authority sa kanya. Now, looking at your comments dun sa Trying Hard Podcast community, may magandang point na ni-raise si Teacher May Reselis. Eh. Sabi niya, disobedience is okay or even right when you are compelled to follow rules that are not morally right. Now, ano ibig sabihin nito? Kung merong rules ang isang institution, pero ito'y oppressive, mapanakit, o hindi morally right sa pananaw ng iyong moral standards, di ba? And you have that freedom to disobey those rules. If rules say that you have to be unfair to other people, and that is not how you live your life, those are not the values that you adhere to, those are not the principles that you try to live by, then follow the higher authority. Follow the moral authority. Parang, kumbaga, sa, sa sitwasyon sa opisina, right? Meron kang boss, tapos sabi, ay nako, Akin na yung mga resibo, lutuin na lang natin yung accounting books natin para mas, mas mababa yung profit natin, para mababa yung taxes natin binabayaran. Di ba? Now, your boss is your authority, right? Pero, dahil may higher authority, which is the law, which is yung moral standards ng pagiging honest at pagkakaroon ng integrity, you can choose to disobey your boss. Okay? So again, think of it that way when you're thinking about uh, the idea of disobedience. When can we disobey? Who are we disobeying. Okay? Now, who are you disobeying? What I would say would be this. When you're disobeying in order to obey a higher authority, then that is not disobedience. That is just, basically, obedience to a higher authority. So, ang question here would be, sino ang higher authority mo? Now, for those of you who believe in religion, it probably would be your holy book, your relig- religious leaders, the Ten Commandments, nakapapalabas lang sa TV recently, no? But if hindi, 
at least, di ba, we all have moral standards. Kung ito man ay kahit do no harm to others lamang, or as simple as the golden rule, there has to be something that you follow that is higher than other regular authorities. That way, meron kang standards na pwede mong i-apply sa lahat. Okay? So that's something lang to think about. Now, the second question when it comes to disobeying is this. Why are you disobeying? Hindi disobey ka ba dahil gusto mo lang, dahil ayaw mo ng rules, dahil hindi mo gusto yung authority figure? Now, in the Trying Hard Podcast community, may sinabing medyo loaded yung isa sa inyo. Sabi ni Wilmar Mark, I think dalawa yung ibig sabihin daw sa kanya, minsan you disobey the person kasi hindi mo siya gusto o ayaw, niya, ayaw mo lang daw yung pinapagawa sa'yo. And the second is, when you disobey, dahil mali yung pinapagawa sa'yo. So again, raising the idea na importante talaga to know why you want to disobey in the first place. Are you doing it kasi nagre-rebelde ka lang? Are you doing it kasi na-inconvenience ka lang ng bagay na ito? Or are you doing it for a higher purpose? Let's state a simple example. If merong tinayo na overpass sa inyong lugar, Okay? Pero nakasanayan mo na na tumatawid ka sa kalsada. Do you then use the overpass kahit gabi na at wala namang nakakakita? Or do you just cross the road as you usually do? Same goes for mga sasakyan, di ba, sa gabi. Dahil ba gabi naman o kaya madaling araw, kapag may, may red light or stop sign, eh hindi na tayo hihinto? O hihinto ka pa rin dahil yun ang tamang gawin kahit walang nakakakita. So again, to disobey dahil lang pwede mo itong gawin is not an honorable way to go. Okay? Na kung ganun yung pinag-uusapan natin na you shouldn't disobey dahil lang hindi mo type yung nag sa sa'yo o dahil hindi mo type itong particular rule na ito, kailan tayo pwede mag-disobey? Okay? At ano yung purpose na yun? Now, what I would offer up to you would be you can disobey if you are protecting yourself and other people. Now, looking at your comments, sabi rin ni Miang Jen, this disobedience is okay, coach. Kahit kung ang bagay na nais ipagawa sa'yo ay hindi patas o maaaring ikapahamak mo. And again, there are situations like that, right? Na uutusan ka na gawin ang isang bagay na pwedeng ikaw yung masasaktan in the end. For example, bumalik tayo sa opisina, di ba? Kung sa akin, di ba? As a registered psychometrician, mayroong restriction sa mga pwede at hindi ko pwedeng gawin. Isa sa mga hindi ko pwedeng gawin ay magreseta sa inyo ng gamot. Okay? Dahil hindi yun saklaw ng lisensya ko as a psychometrician. Hindi naman ako psychiatrist o isang special type ng psychologist na kayang mag-dole out ng drugs sa inyo. So dahil dito, kahit na may mag-utos sa akin na, oh, pirmahan mo na to, resetahan mo na lang siya kasi makakatulong naman yun sa kanya. Hindi ko yun pwedeng gawin dahil maaari yung kapahamak ng tao na maaaring resetahan ng maling gamot o ako na maaaring mawala ng lisensya dahil gagawa ako ng isang bagay na hindi ko dapat ginagawa. So again, if you're going to disobey to protect yourself and others, then, di ba, that makes it okay. Now, yung third question, which is again very important to talk about, is how do you express your disobedience? Now, this is something na very important pag-usapan kasi I really want to encourage you that even in the times that you disobey, you keep yung respect and you still honor people. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? If your parent asks you to lie, di ba? Huwag ka nang pumasok, sabihin mo may sakit ka na lang para makapag-hang out tayo together. Then you don't need to scream at your mom and say na, ayoko nga, hindi ako magsisinungaling, di ba, sa boss ko. Kamaging uh, respectful ka pa rin. You can just say na, ma, hindi pwede kasi that would be lying. And uh, ayoko magsinungaling sa trabaho. I want to keep my integrity. So if you want, magtatrabaho ako, babawi na lang ako pag-uwi. Or babawi na lang ako pagtapos na yung duty ko. Okay? So again, you still have to be respectful. So pwede ba tayong mag-disobey and still respect yung authority figures na sinusuway natin? I would say yes. Right? Balik tayo dun sa example nung ate kanina. Diba? Yung ate mo, sinusubukan kang uh, kumbinsihin na magsinungaling sa yung parents. Now, if you want to disobey your sister dahil mali yung pinapagawa niya sa'yo, hindi mo naman kailangan na ilaglag siya sa parents mo at uh, dagdagan pa yung kwento. Diba? Na, ma, alam nyo ba, si ate, ito yung ginawa, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos siguro makikisama yun sa boyfriend niya. Siguro makikipag-inuman yan sa labas. Diba? Huwag na tayong tumawid dun sa... Um, Grounds na lagpas na dun sa issue. Let's focus on that isolated case so we can treat it that, that way. 
So think about that the next time that you want to express your disobedience. Okay, may mga pwede naman tayong gawin na hindi rin makakapanakit sa iba. We can stand our ground. We can speak respectfully pa rin and still express our disobedience. You know, it's really ano ba, uncomfortable to talk about this. And I know that by speaking about this, baka yung iba sa inyo, you disagree with me, and that's okay. You can write your comments na lang in the comment section. But the idea kasi na, uh, I guess, prevalent sa marami sa atin, na when it comes to dis- disobedience, eh, mali na siya every single time, and mali na siya per se, is something that I think we need to revisit. We need to revisit it not so we can encourage yung bad behavior ng pagsuway ng utos kahit na nakakabuti na ito sa iyo but so we can come face to face with our real standards ng kung ano ang tama at mali. Kadalasan kasi mahilig tayong manahin kung ano yung mga bagay na sinusunod natin at hindi natin sinusunod. Kung hindi ito sinusunod ng mga kaibigan ko, hindi ko susundin. Kung sinusunod ito ng mga kaibigan ko, ibig sabihin yun ang tama. Pero we have to make that decision for ourselves. That way, we can hold ourselves accountable sa kung ano yung sinusunod at hindi natin sinusunod. Sino ang ating sinusunod at sino ang ating hindi sinusunod, sinusunod, kailan tayo hindi sumusunod, kailan tayo sumusunod, at paano tayo sumusunod, at paano tayo hindi sumusunod. So, good bad things. Can disobedience be a good thing? I would argue, yes. But only in certain situations. You know how there's this quote, di ba, na laging lumalabas uh, online. Medyo misattributed daw siya kay Edward Burke. Eh. And it says, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Um, ang sabi nila, mas malapit daw yung sinabi ni uh, John Stuart Mill na uh, bad men need nothing more to compass their ends than that good men should look and do nothing. Ang big sabihin lang noon is in order for bad things to keep happening, hindi naman natin kailangan na gumawa ng kahit ano. Ang kailangan lang, yung mga mabubuti ay walang gawin. And so sa panahon na ayaw natin na manalo ang kasamaan, tayo na gustong piliin na gawin ng mabuti, we have to do more than just watch. Alright, so that's it muna for now. I hope may natutunan kayo dito. I hope it got you to thinking. And I hope if you were to react, again, let's maintain yung kindness and love kahit sa comment section ng video na ito. You know, this is a really good uh, conversation starter. It's a good video to watch with your kids so, para you can talk about your own standards and morals. And maybe you can share yours with them. And it's a good way for us to interact with other people na maaring pareho o hindi katulad yung opinion sa atin. Just remember to be kind and respectful pa rin. Okay? Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. We have more videos coming up. Babalik na tayo sa math and English lessons sa susunod ng videos. And if you want to listen to the Trying Hard with like a podcast, we cover a lot of the other um challenging topics like uh, smart problems what do, do you do when you fail what do you do when you succeed and stuff like that you can go and visit the link na lang din in the, the description box sa baba na sa Spotify siya Apple Podcasts and other major podcasting platforms all right thank you guys for watching as we always say this channel to never stop learning aja aja kainian i'll see you in the next video and bye for now